Psalm 41 through 45. Psalm 41. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou wilt make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Mine enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? And if he comes, if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they dis devise my hurts. An evil disease, say they, cleaveth fast unto him. And now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar, familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lift up his heel against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I may re quite them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. And as for me, thou upholdest me in mine integrity, and settest me before thy face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and amen. Psalm 42. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thir thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? God, my tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down on my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, and of the Hermonites from the hill Mizar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and thy billow, billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God my rock, Why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of my enemy, of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, mine enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? Why art thou cast down on my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and an unjust man. For thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto the holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand, and planted them, how thou didst afflict the people, and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thine arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor upon them. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverance for Jacob. Through through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from thy enemies, 
and has put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. But thou cast, hast cast off and put us to shame and goest not forth with our armies. Thou makest us turn back from the enemy and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat and hast scattered us among the heathen. Thou sellest thy people for naught and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among my, the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger. All this is come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee. Neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons, and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a strange God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of, our, of the heart. Yea, for the sake of for thy sake we are killed all the day long, and we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. Wherefore hidest thou, thou thy face, and forgettest our infliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help, and redeem us for mercy's sake. Psalm 45 My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God has blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with the glory in thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the, in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter, scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou, loving, thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thou, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All the garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia, out of the ivory palaces, whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is the Lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing they shall, shall they be brought. They shall enter the, into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers, instead of thy fathers shall be thy children, whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever.